Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm starting my holiday home tour series starting with the kitchen. Um, so there have been some definite changes here in the kitchen and my decorating so I'd like to share them with you. Some things that I enjoy, some DIYs, art, and um, decorating. Here at the end of the kitchen, I have this little wooden easel that I picked up at a yard sale. And I used to have this, or you know, in the summertime and fall, I had it on this piece of furniture. But once I decorated over here, I needed to find a new spot. And it's actually working perfectly because it's hiding those electronics. And then I get to display something. Because last year at Christmas time, I had a chalkboard, a bulletin board, and there was a little shelf. So I was able to put things and pin up pictures. So since I just have the mirror, I lost that decorating space. But I pretty much got it back with this little $1 easel. So I've um, got all thrifted things, things from estate sales and savers and church rummage sales over here. And I did pull out um, one of my favorite Christmas scents, Christmas Cottage. I picked up a sample of that at a flea market last year and fell in love with it, so I had to buy um, a package. And it's got some cinnamon and some citrus and just nothing's really overwhelming. It's just a very um, fresh scent. I love that. On the refrigerator, I have these magnets that I made out of old game pieces. I picked up this lotto game at the thrift store for $5. It had lots of wooden numbers up to probably 80. Um, they're wood and green, and then it had little lotto cards. So I picked them up for crafting, and after I had it for a while, I got the idea to put magnets on 1 through 25 to do a little Christmas countdown. So this craft, this project, is not finished yet. I'd like to get some type of magnetic tray and do like a uh, chalkboard on it so I can write some words and make a little grid and then every day next year we can add a magnet as um, the days go by. I've also decorated with some more thrifted finds, just cute little um, magnets for the season and I made this little gingerbread. Last year I had a boxwood wreath that hung from this window but we changed the window treatment out and now I can't hang a wreath but I still wanted to display these cute little gingerbread men that Dee gave me. So I had this little tea strainer and then my friend Val sent me another one so the gingerbreads were wired and I was able to stick them in the little holes. I've got my brass perpetual calendar and then a piece of art that I made a few years ago. So to me, a big change happened in this little space. Um, I had purchased legs to make this furniture taller and countertop height, but um, the more my husband and I looked at it, we just thought it would look really piecemealed. Um, the proportions might not look right. We might have might have had to lose the scalloped border. So we just decided after it had been here for a year, we were just kind of used to the height it was. So we decided just to leave it as it was. But I had taken off this back wooden piece that came with it, just tucked it under my buffet just in case. And um, I added it back on to take up a little bit more visual space because if we had um, added the legs and made this taller, this little board would not have worked in the space and it just would have come so close to that mirror. So what I did is it was still dark. I had not stripped it down to the bare wood. So I spray painted it with um, chalkboard, chalkboard spray paint. Then I sanded it to distress it. And then I took the chalk and seasoned it, which um, turned it a little bit gray because as solid black, it was just very overwhelming with the marble countertop and then the plain wood. So I thought that this toned it down a little bit. And I used to have a chalkboard here, so I do like the fact that if I wanted to write something there, I could, um, but it, not like it screams chalkboard. It also has these great little shelves on either side so I can display my assemblages. So what I did in here is I used gingerbread men and candy cane and oranges and rosemary, salt and pepper shakers and mugs, um, cookie cutters to decorate because it's the kitchen. So I have this um, champagne bucket. I actually have two now, both thrifted. Last year I planted a um, poinsettia and I really loved that so I wound up replacing it with a fern after Christmas and I wanted the ability to be able to put dried flowers and other things um, 
in another piece and do something for Christmas. So I always wanted a rosemary tree and this was the year I made it happen. <laughs> I got this one for $15 at Lowe's and then I found them at Trader Joe's and then ultimately Aldi for $10. So I'm gonna be buying mine at Aldi next year. I just put some copper wired battery lights on there. My kids and I, um, dried some oranges. We, get, we did blood oranges and then we did regular navel oranges just to get that nice um, variety of color. And then I also put um, these cinnamon ornaments that we made oh, a long time ago. Um, and uh, Hillary, she had glittered hers, so I definitely stole that idea um, that Martha Stewart glittered. That's really fine. It's just so beautiful. And I love the smell of the oranges, and every time I touch the tree, <laughs> just so fragrant. I think that was the bow that I used to hang the boxwood wreath, and I really liked it, so I wanted to use it somewhere. And then over here, just some assemblages on top of mint tins. And um, my friend had sent me this container that had these silver, red, and green like edible, what are they called, dragees or something. So I put those in some salt and pepper shakers. Over here, cute little mug, picked up a copper um, cookie cutter, and then a little ornament and a little craft. This frame, I loved the color of the wood. It really matched my cabinets, but when the frame was there, with this piece and all the different colors going on, it just looked like a hodgepodge. So what I did is I took some chalkboard paint, I lightly brushed it over and then sanded and wiped off a little bit. And now I think that there's a more cohesive look there. And I love a little bit of black in every room. Um, so now I've just got little touches there. And if you remember throughout the past year, I've been collecting and been given these copper um, reindeer cookie cutters to make a banner. So I was able to make my banner this year and it's exactly what I wanted it to be. So I'm so happy. Put this frame Santa up here for a while. I just put some wild Christmas paper behind it and then the die cut on top. Um, I just love just how festive it is and there's so much going on. So the hooks are new. Um, I purchased that that little, um, what would you call it, expanding rack within the past year. So this is the first Christmas that I'm able to decorate with it and I just knew I was gonna hang stockings from it. So I've got a couple vintage stockings hanging and then I've just put things that add sparkle. So we have beaded stars and glittered snowflakes. I've got more of the dried oranges and um, the cinnamon ornaments. And Rachel from A Sweet and Simple Home shared that she strung up her white buttons on red and white baker's twine. And I did that um, at Halloween many years ago with my black and white buttons, but I never thought about Christmas. So I immediately went and picked up some more baker's twine and I did that. And I just think that it has such a magical twinkly look up here. So I'm really happy the, with the way that this uh, turned out. So I hope you all enjoyed seeing how I decorated and hearing how all of you inspire me and my decorations, and I hope I do the same for you. And I'll see you in another video and a different spot of my house. Thanks for watching, everyone.